everyone welcome to tutorials point now in this video we will learn about another plant tissue which is the secretory tissue the types and functions so the learning objective will be to explain different types of secretory tissues which are present in plant now plant secretions there are many substances in the plant like water amino acids mucilages resins we have seen many plants leaking out resins like the rubber plant also we have seen that there are some excretions out of the bark which become hard some reddish substance which becomes hard outside the bark have you ever wondered what are all these so all of these chemicals which are secreted from the plant from the cytoplasm of the plant cell are known as plant secretions now these secretions can be beneficial like they can be helpful commercially non commercially they can be good in taste also they can be bad in taste also and they can be very harmful or non beneficial also they can sometimes be poisonous also but there are separate tissues in the plants which have modified themselves so the cells are basically the same but these cells have undergone some modification and formed tissues by combination of cells which are known as secretory tissues so specialized tissues which are associated solely with the function of secretion so they secrete or excrete out either extra water or extra substances waste products they excrete them out and these tissues are known as excretory tissues just the way we have skin the skin is the biggest excretory excretory organ all of us you might remember so similarly plants also have secretory tissues in them now these secretory tissues they can be external external as in they are present on the external surface of the plant and also they can be internal which means these tissues are embedded inside the plant inside the other plant tissues so they can be of two types external as well as internal now what are these tissues doing they are storing the secretory product in them and releasing out as and when suitable to them so types of secretory tissues basically there are two types of secretory tissues right we said they are they can be external or internal now on the basis of how what is their structure and how are they secreting and what are they secreting they can be further categorized into two types the lattice first type is latticiferous tissues now latticiferous tissue as the word is suggesting is secreting a substance which is known as latex so what are they they are basically parenchymate cells which have taken up structure of a tube so they are tube like parenchymate cells which have a duct in them and that duct is secreting a milky juice known as latex so made up of thin wall parenchymate cells which form tube the tissue produces a milky juice which is known as latex now this latex it provides protection to the plant so it prevents the plant from infection and also in some cases this latex is taken out in utilized for commercial purposes the examples are in the diagram also you can see the rubber plant wherein the rubber which is excreted out from the latticiferous tissues is collected is rubber plant which is also known as hevia or the rubber plant then ficus people also secrete some reddish liquid which gets hardened in some time so that is also a latticiferous tissue then in papaya plant the substance the white latex secreted by papaya plant is also excreted out from latticiferous tissues then is opium which is used to make different types of drugs that is also excreted out from the fruit of the plant papaver somniferum or you can also say poppy then callotropis plant the common callotropis plant when you break its stem or leaf you will see some whitish substance coming out that is also a latex then the nerium plant which you find on the road sides it also has latticiferous tissues in them the euphorbia plant all of these plants secrete whitish substance which is the latex excreted out from the latticiferous tissues the next type of secretory tissue is glandular tissue now here what is happening the cells are combining themselves and forming glands and these glands they are excreting out substances okay so the tissue forms glandular structure which excretes or secretes out the substance now they can be single celled also so single cell is Uh, is depositing secretory substance in it and releasing out or it can be multicellular which means many cells are combining together now they develop from the epidermal or subepidermal so they are generally what external latticiferous will be internal type 
So glandular tissues are external. Now these glandular tissues are further divided into three categories. The first of them is glandular trichome. Trichome means hair. So these are the epidermal hairs which are secreting out substances, sticky substances are secreted out by the epidermal or the outer hairs. So they are present generally in the insectivorous plants. What would be the function? All of us know that insectivorous plants traps the insect. So this is a drosera plant. This plant has sticky substance releasing out from the epidermal hair. What will this sticky substance do? It enables the insect to stick on the plant and finally it is engulfed by the plant. Next is nectar secreting nectaries. Now all the plants secrete nectar and the bee is attracted to that nectar only or we can also call it honey, right? So this is secreted from extra floral nectaries present on the flowering plants. So here in the diagram you can see these extra floral nectaries, they are secreting what? Nectar, which is a type of glandular tissue. Next is hydrothodes. Now hydrothodes are very important in very common type of pores. So they are modified pores where they are found along the margins and the apices of the leaf and they secrete water. So extra water from the plant apart from transpiration through stomata is secreted by these modified pores which are known as what? Hydrothodes. Now these hydrothodes, the process which happens, the secretion of water is known as guttation. So Guttation is secretion of water from these pores that are hydrothodes. Now they have a bigger in size and they are always open. As compared to stomata, they are bigger in size and they remain always open. Stomata, you know, that has a mechanism of opening and closing, but that is not the case with hydrothodes. So hydrothodes is also a type of glandular tissue. So to summarize, we can say specialized tissues which have function of secretion are known as secretory tissues. They can be of two types, latissiferous and glandular. Latissiferous is made up of parenchymatous cells which take tube-like form and there's a duct which releases a milky juice known as latex. And glandular tissues which form glandular structures can be unicellular or multicellular. They are of three types, glandular trichomes which are epidermal hairs, extra floral nectaries which secrete nectar in flowering plants and finally hydrothodes which are the modified pores on the plant to excrete extra water. So this was all about secretory tissues. Now we will move forward to the tissue systems present in plant. Till then, thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.